So the holidays are here and upon us, and everybody <clears throat> loves the parties and the get-togethers and the eating and the drinking and the merrymaking. But everybody also worries about how to navigate the holidays so they don't blow up, like literally. <laughs> you know, your eyes don't swell shut and you can still fit in your clothes come January. So that's what we're here talking to Bob about today. What is your advice to people in general? Now, I'm not gonna tell you, don't eat this, don't eat that. I mean, we're going to indulge. I mean, it, it's just part of the holidays. Mm. Uh, but I want you to be more realistic about it. I want you to like think about the choices that you're making and make sure that like what you're doing is that you're taking care of yourself. And if you do overindulge, don't beat yourself up. I mean, I see so many people that just get so upset with themselves and I'm like, cut yourself some slack. It's all gonna be okay. Enjoy that meal. And um, one thing that a lot of people do that uh, I try to tell them um, not, not to do is skip the meals. They think, I'm not gonna eat all day and I'm gonna wait until that Thanksgiving mm -hmm. meal. And then what happens is you're starving to death and you're not gonna be then able to make- Then you overeat. Then you overeat. It's like, get up in the morning, have that good protein breakfast. Like what I like to do is I get these like fiber crackers because you wanna have some, uh, you feel full when you have right, those fiber Right, right, right. And I put some peanut butter on them. I feel good. Okay, so now we're gonna help out a couple uh, of our in-studio audience members. The first question is from Elisa. Uh, you look very beautiful. We have Bob Harper here for you. What is your question? Yeah, so starting in November, I go all out for the holidays. I have a huge sweet tooth, and by the end of the holiday season, I've overindulged between everything I've baked and all the holiday parties I've gone to. How do I make myself feel better? Well, uh, yeah, uh, I think for uh, w what I would tell you is when you're starting to make those choices when the holidays are upon us, it's like you have to say to yourself, is it worth it? That's the mantra that I live by. I start looking at those meals and I go, is it worth it? And whenever I get together with, um, d with friends, I try to bring in something healthy. One thing that I like to do, I like to cook the turkey. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I mean, I think turkey is probably the, one of the, you know, best choices it's good it's a good source of protein high protein it's yeah. high protein especially when you do that that's the turkey that i made um last oh it, look yeah, at last you thanksgiving <laughs> yeah but so when you talk about um during the holidays another thing that you need to really think about is like listening to your body you've heard that a million times right what i mean by that is that you need to slow down when it's time for you to eat People get so like in a rush because I get so excited. Like when I'm around Rachel's food, all of a sudden I can't think and I'm just like, oh. But if you just slow down for a minute and just like take a breath, you don't have to go into that party thinking I gotta just like make a beeline to that food. I want you to slow down. I want you to really say, is this worth it? The choices that I make. And if you start to do that, you're gonna be ahead of the game throughout these holidays. 